Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will explore the new slicer that visual that is available in Power BI. So we'll go to our visualization pane and we will select tile slicer. Here in the field, I will bring status. So it will show us the status of our projects. I'll just drag it and let's see how we can modify this. So I'll go to format your visual. In the slicer settings, Right now you can see that I, it's single select, so I can only select one. I will remove this, so if I want, I can select more than one. You can also have select all option, but we will remove that. In the shape, you can define the shape, rounded rectangle if you want. You can also further define it how you want the rounded corners to be like. You can also have this snip part, but we will keep it as rounded rectangle. You can also customize this style if you want to, but I'll keep it as it is. In the layout, you can arrange the layout in, in a grid form. If you want single row, single column, if you want card or table, I'll keep it as cards. We will also bring all in one column so that it looks better. Let me bring it here. Now, let's go back to the layout. If you want to have some customized spacing, overflow I'll just leave it as it is now comes call out values so right now you can see it's like this I will just change its color to green and if for hover we will change it to black and if you want to make any other changes you can do that for example when it's hover you can make it her alignment right so if I come here so this is how it will look in the default you can also change it if you want. Now we also want to add a label. So I will click it, sell on. And here now we want to see that how many are done, how many are in progress, how many are on hold and so on. So I will drag project name or project ID here. And here I will change the summarization to count distinct. Now you can see one is delayed, six are done. If I click any of them, it will show me those. I will unclick it. And here in the callout values, sorry, in the label, I will set the position above. Okay, let's leave it as it is. We can also increase the value if you want. Or if you want to change any other style, you can do that. In the layout, if you want to change any layout, we'll bring it like this. If you want to have any image, you can do that here also. We will just leave it as it is. In the selection icon also, if you want to make any changes, you want to add anything, I'll just remove that. Also in the buttons, the borders, if you want to change the color, you can do this and all these things fill. Let's say you can fill it up. We'll just remove that. Shadow, if you want to add any shadow. No, if you want to add any glow, not right now. You can also add an accent bar. Let me just go back and in the shape, let's make it as rectangle or rounded rectangle, but not this kind. In fact, let's make it rectangle. And in the accent bar, we can make it as top and we can increase the. Now, if I select it, I'll go again to visualization. In general, this is where you modify any of your Power BI visual. We have already gone through it uh, in our videos, so I will not go, but you can set up the properties. You can set up title. I'll just remove this title from here. This is similarly affects data format and all these things. I'll just bring it here on the top and make it like this. Now, this is a new visual slicer. I can click any of these and it will work. I hope this helped and please do keep watching for more. Let me know if you want any other visual videos and yeah, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye-bye.